Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life and I'm here today with a design team post for Scrapping for Less. Today I'm going to be using collection number three from the Flavor of the Month card kit, January's theme. It's all about the boys. And I'm doing something a little bit different. I am actually, I cut out all of the pieces prior to starting to videotape and I'm just going to kind of piece them all together. Since these are pretty simple cards, I didn't think the whole process needed to be here, but I was going to give you all of the dimensions that I used. So for this first card, these are all four cards I'm making are A2 size cards, so they're four and a quarter by five and a half. And for the first one, I cut one strip at two and a quarter inches by four inches. And then I cut three strips at one inch by four inches, and that's how I created the background. I use two patterns for this. Of course, you can use anything that you want. The panel that's on the front of the card is three inches by two inches. And I had so many issues with heat embossing that I ended up only doing it on this card and then the beginning of the second card and that was it. I said that's it. I'm done. I'm not heat embossing anymore tonight. So as you just saw there I forgot to use a static tool and then I was like well it should be okay. So I stamped it again anyway and poured the embossing powder all over it and the entire thing was pretty much full and I couldn't get any of it off. So I actually tried to wipe it off and it worked. I know there's like a coating on this paper so I think that's what helped it. I just used uh, baby wipe to wipe it off but it worked and it worked pretty well. I dried it off with the heat tool and I it, it looks fine like it's not warped or anything. Now I certainly wouldn't suggest this and I don't think that it, in general it would work with most papers but for this particular one it worked and I was glad because I had used most of the paper for the other cards and I really didn't have any larger sections at least not ones that I wanted to use with this. Um, left to be able to use. So I was kind of glad that that all ended up working out. So I guess my feeling was the worst thing that can happen is I have to throw it away anyway, so why not try? And I did and it worked, so that was good. So here I was going to heat emboss the circle, and the circle is 1 and 3 eighths inches. But after I stamped it, it flipped off of the stamp and onto the floor underneath my desk that I actually had to get down and crawl underneath my desk to find it, which I did end up finding a few other things under there too. Bring those back up so that I have to stamp and create another one. And I didn't like the flowery or scalloped edge circle, so then I ended up cutting it out of the same die. And... I did use some fun foam to pop up the front panel and then I just used some foam tape on a section, a couple sections of the circle just to get that to be the same size as, or the same height as the panel itself. And then I just centered this panel on the card. I also or I didn't also do anything. That was it for this card. Um, but everything that you receive in collection number three is the Birthday King paper by Scrapping for Less, and it's in gold and this royal blue. It's They're really great colors, and they really work well together. The Royal Birthday King stamp by Scrapping for Less, enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs, and then gold glitter paper by Doris, which I actually ended up using the gold glitter paper in the or for the hop. So I just had the papers and left and the stamp. So for this second card, I just took a whole sheet and kind of cornered it. But the largest areas of this are five and a quarter by four inches. So you do need a piece that large and you'll be cutting some of it off. And then I just cut another strip at a quarter of an inch by four inches. And I just like kitty cornered it into or onto the card. I don't even know if you'd say that was kitty cornered, not really. Um, just to get it in there. Then here I heat embossed this first in white and I decided I didn't like it. I really couldn't see it. It didn't come out well. Although I did remember to use my embossing static tool. But like I said, then I got another piece and I stamped it in black and then I ended up using some black embossing powder that has some sparkle which I do end up using some of the 
enamel dots on this that have the gold and silver sparkle in it so it kind of worked out perfectly and matched with that but here's the first one like I said I just was not having a good day with embossing powders I spilled it I made a mess I didn't use the heat tool everything worked out and it was fine but I was just so done by the second card with embossing powders that I have said that's it I'm not using any more today I'm done and I didn't I didn't use any more but this strip, like I said, I cut it down to this about 7 sixteenths of an inch, stamped the sentiment on there, and then just cut it down to the size I wanted, the two and three quarters after I heat embossed it, and then just bannered it out, or fishtailed it to create that banner. And then I also stamped the inside of the card with the large Birthday King stamp. And now I stamp this in the misty, and I turn it upside down. I'm left-handed. And so when I'm doing a lot of stuff, I have to do it left-handed. So for me, making it upside down so that it swings open towards the left is how I have to do it so I can make it work properly. So I just have to turn it upside down. It's not really a big deal, but that's what I did with that one to get that sentiment in there. And then, like I said, I will jump in and put those enamel dots on there. The only other thing that I used from this kit to create these four cards were a couple sequins from the banana split level. At the very end, or the very last card, I do put a couple sequins on there. I don't know, I, I know a lot. everybody has those days where everything you touch just seems to go wrong and nothing is going the way that you want it, but like I said, it was just, I had to just finally laugh about the entire situation with the embossing powder, because like I said, every single thing that I touched was just bad. That's all I can say. It was just bad. So number three card, I cut out a panel that was two and a half by four and a quarter inches. I cut out a strip that was a half an inch by four and a quarter inches and then another one that was a quarter of an inch by four and a quarter inches and that's going to kind of create the back panel. Then the panel that's on the front is three and a quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. And then what's on top of that where I'm stamping right now is three inches by two and a half inches. So that size will fit that stamp nicely. And then I just layered that up on top of a piece so that the gold just kind of floated around the, the edges of it. And I used some craft, or I used a craft card base for this one. I really like the craft card base, but uh, if you notice, I had stamped the Birthday King sentiment on the craft paper uh, like three times. And I notice for a lot of craft papers, I think they're more porous than the white paper, and they seem to absorb the ink more. So you definitely, when you're stamping with craft paper, a lot of times you definitely want to make sure that you're using some type of stamping tool so that you can stamp over it multiple times, because I do notice that a lot with craft papers that the ink just absorbs really quickly in there and it, then it, the, the stamp isn't as crisp as, well, at least as I wanted it to be. So to finish this card off, I create one of the circles with just the stamped image of the crown and then on the in, and I stick that on the inside along with the stamp that says King for the Day. And that is it for my third card. My fourth card... I create kind of an entire background panel, but I do it in three different pieces. So I cut two two and a half by four inch pieces, and then I cut one quarter of an inch by four inch strip, and that's going to kind of create that entire back panel. The top panel is three and a half by three inches, and then on top of that, where I stamped and I put the sentiment is two and a half inches by two inches. And then the banner that's there is two inches by seven eighths of an inch. So for this, after I got everything kind of figured out what exactly I was going to do with it, I took the crocodile and rounded out the edges, but only on the opening portion of the card. So the two corners on the side that opens for the card and then on both of the pieces that were on the front panel or on the top panel. I end up sticking 
or using the crocodile on those. And then like I said, I stamped the image of the crown and king for the day. And then I just used a couple of the sequins. Like I said, the sequins were the only thing that I used outside of collection number three. I just wanted that all to be centered since it was exactly an inch different difference. Um, I wanted a half an inch all the way around. And then I also wanted to make sure that it was centered on the card. So I just kind of lined everything up there. I just, like I said, fishtailed that banner and I was kind of playing around back and forth which way I wanted it and I decided I liked it on that side better. I pop on those couple sequins and that is it for this card. So those are all four of my cards. I had a lot of fun with this kit. Like I said, I was really excited to get a masculine kit all about the boys. I have a lot of boys in my life that I have to make cards for, so I was glad about that. And I like the fact that these are quicker cards. You know, sometimes you just need those quick cards that you can use in a pinch that maybe doesn't have to be the most extravagant card or super specialized for a person. Sometimes you just you want a nice card that you created for somebody, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that um big of a deal as far as what you're doing with it. And I like these because they were super simple just to piece everything together. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you jump over to Scrapping for Less, you can still pick up one of these awesome kits. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope everybody has a great day and take care.